Thank you, Lucy. And hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this webinar about automating color measurement in digital textile printing. I'm Victor, and I'm happy to, to speak to all of you today. So let's start with the agenda of today. First, I will introduce Barbaria Electronic. Then I will talk about color in digital textile printing. I'm going to talk about the challenges to obtain true colors in digital textile printing. Then I will speak about the different applications with color measurement devices. I will explain how Valbieri automated color measurement solutions help. And at the end, I present a summary and we are having a Q&A session with all of you. A few words about me. So Lucy already introduced me. I'm Victor. I'm the business development manager for Barbieri Electronic. I started at Barbieri in 2011, working as supply chain manager, and later I became VP of product and innovation, and also managed the operations of Barbieri North America. My focus at Barbieri is to expand Barbieri's international business into new markets, applications, and industries. Who is Barbieri Electronic? Let me, let me talk a little, let me talk to you a little bit about the history of the company. Um, no, first, um, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about what Barbieri stands for. <laughs> Barbieri stands uh, for intelligent color measurement technology for top performance in professional digital printing. What does Barbieri do? Barbieri Electronic builds spectrophotometers for color measurement in professional digital printing and is the color measurement market leader for large format, flatband, and industrial printing. A little bit about the history. The company was founded in 1983 by Mr. Secret Barbieri in Brixen, beautiful town in Northern Italy, actually in the heart of the Dolomites. The first products were densitometers, and in 1997, the first spectrophotometers were, were built, and there, with that, it was the shift to digital printing. In 2004, the first Spectro LFB came out, and in 2010, the Spectro LFB Series 3. In 2017, Spectro LFB QB came out, and in 2019, the Spectro LFB QB Textile Edition, with its breakthrough innovations for text, digital textile printing. And nowadays, Barbieri is part of a lot of uh, research and um, research projects and, and all over the world, working with universities as well, and uh, doing also a lot of, a lot of uh, work in different, in different industries. Let's jump into color in digital textile printing. Digital textile printing is any ink check based method of printing colorous colorants onto fabric. There are many applications with digital textile printing. For example, interior, fashion, industrial, automotive, sportswear, and of course, many more. Besides uh, low uh, sample costs, uh, though fixed cost with digital textile printing, there are also other advantages. For example, unlimited color combinations, high resolutions, and fine patterns. This leads to the question, why do color results vary in digital textile printing? There are different applications, which are combination of different printers, different material, and different ink, which require different production workflow and different pre and post treatments. And all of this results in different color gamuts. In this case, our color gamuts, we talk about the amount of printable colors. Let's have a look at a few different gamut sizes in digital textile printing. As you see, 
every technology has somewhat different gamut sizes. For example, you might have already spotted if you look at the pigment four color versus the reactive eight colors, you see that one gamut is clearly bigger than the other. This means one technology allows a much more saturation, a bigger amount of printable colors. Of course, this doesn't mean that one technology is better than another, it's just different. Now we might ask how we can obtain these color gamut graphs and understand what a printer is capable to do. We need our output material with the printed color chart on it, and we need measurement technology to measure this. And this leads to the next chapter. What are actually the challenges to obtain true colors in digital textile printing. First, we want to look at the different components involved in color reproduction. First, we have a di digital file or an image or a pattern. We have a RIP software using ICC profiles, and we have a digital textile printer. We might have other technology for pre and post treatment, and we have a spectrophotometer. The spectrophotometer uses measurement data, which obtains by measuring output material, and feeds that measurement data back into a software, which then can use this data to, for example, create a profile. Let's dive into color theory a little bit. We might want to ask, what does it mean to measure colors? First, we need an object. In this case, we have a green shoe. We need a light source and we need an observer. The light source illuminates the object and from the object, some light information gets reflected back to the observer. This also can be called the spectrum. So this leads to the conclusion that the color corresponds to the spectral product of these three components, illumination, object, and observer. Without having a light source here, we would not know that this object is green, for example. How is this transferred into technology, into a measurement device? It's the same story. We need an object. In, a, in this example, printed textile with color charts on, on it. We have an illumination, which is built in into the spectrophotometer, which illuminates the object at a certain angle. And we have an observer, our spectral core, which captures the light that's reflected back from the object. Now we want to understand why does material affect the accuracy of measurements? The answer is that there are many different types of materials with different characteristics. There's paper-like material, which looks kind of flat here. We have structured material, for example, textiles, and we have backlit material, for example, glass. You understand that with different material, there come different challenges. So let's look now what actually are the challenges when it comes to textile material. Here you see a printed color chart on a textile. First challenge is the structure of the textile. You see all these wovens, all these gloves. So this actually causes kind of, a, let's call it, a different behavior than like, let's say, paper. We have the distortion or elasticity of textile. As you all might know, sometimes if you uh, move a textile or you try to, to um, 
position it with your hand, already a little movement causes already a complete change of shape of the textile. The mounting of the textile, same as before with the elasticity, it's very difficult to actually put a textile somewhere so that it remains in the exact same shape. And we have fibers and dust on the surface of the textile, which might pollute actually the measurement device. Besides the material, what other challenges should a measurement technology solve? There's time. Sometimes it's needed to measure many of these color charts. And of course, the faster you are, the better it is for you. Accuracy is very difficult and not always even possible to hit the right exact measurement spot without help of technology. And the human factor. As we all know, sometimes a user can make mistakes and measurement technology should actually be able to solve this issue. So now we heard about the challenges that comes with all the materials with, with measuring. Now we want to understand what are the different applications with color measurement devices. First is the linearization. This means setting the correct amount of ink drop for each color channel. There are dedicated linearization charts, which needs to be measured and the data then sent back to your software to create the right ink drop. ICC profiling, which is actually, as we've seen it before, describing the color gamut of the digital printer. For that, we also need dedicated color charts, which need to be measured. And with that measurement data, the software is able to create, to describe the color gamut of the printer. Spot color measurements. Checking the value of a spot color, LAB. Let's have a look how this actually works. So we've seen here how we can measure spot with the device and get an LAB value. This value now describes this blue color and knowing that if we would now measure another material and get the exact same LAB color, without discussion, we can say it's the same color. Process control, which is verification if a process prints within the tolerances. There are also dedicated control charts which are possible to measure. And then with the measurement data, it's possible to say if we print within tolerances or if we are outside tolerances. This of course is very helpful to understand what's the current status of the printing process, the current status of my printer. So these are the applications with measurement technology. And now we want to dive into the world of Barbieri and see how Barbieri automated color measurement solutions help. The Spectral FPQB Textile Edition is the worldwide unique solution for automatic color measuring in digital dye sublimation and direct to garment printing. Let's look at the features of this device and why it is so helpful for digital textile printing. First, the fully automated operation. Color charts can be measured fully automated thanks to the motorized operation of the device. Let's look a short clip how this works.
So in this short sequence, you've seen that most of the time, all you need to do is actually really just hit start with the software and the device is able to do the full measuring process all by itself. The variable measurement aperture. The spectral LFB QB textile edition can change automatically the aperture size to two, six, and eight millimeters. That's important because the measurement aperture defines how much of a certain patch is seen and measured. And the general rule is the bigger the aperture, the more accurate the measurement result is. Let's see a few examples, for instance, in low resolution prints. With a small aperture, you see here a green dot and a little bit of blue. With a big aperture, you see a bit more. But if you use a large aperture, such as eight millimeters, you're able to capture much more color information. For instance, you also see the red dot. More important, even in textiles. With a small aperture, you almost don't capture anything of the material. Instead, you see a lot of the background. When you use a large aperture, you have way more detailed color information about this red textile. This leads to the conclusion that the best results on textile and fabrics are the eight millimeter aperture. Let's see this video, how this technology works. What's the real challenge when it comes to color measurement on different digitally printed materials? It is important to avoid wrong measurements caused by a minute measuring aperture. Materials with even surface and high resolution prints can be measured with a small aperture so that many patches can fit on one single page for easier handling. Structured materials and surfaces require a larger aperture and larger patches to reach the highest level of accuracy. With our professional R&D department, we have been able to look closely at the obstacles and find the best solution. The Spectro LFP QB with its variable 2 to 8 millimeter aperture. By using a motor-driven optical zoom, the aperture size can be adapted automatically. This single instrument can be used to accurately measure a variety of different digitally printed materials to get the most accurate results every day. So in this clip, we have seen that the large measurement eight millimeter aperture is very important on textiles and fabrics, just to have more accurate color information. The vision technology for distorted targets. The Spectral FPQB Textile Edition comes with an integrated vision technology to capture the exact measurement spot. By detecting the center of each patch, the device guarantees highest accuracy. Let's look a short clip how this technology works. Are precise color measurements on digitally printed textile materials important to you? Placing textiles on a sample holder can be difficult. As a result, the measured charts end up in a distorted position and the device measures in the wrong places. Our experienced R&D department has analyzed the problem and developed the right solution to solve these challenges. Precise navigation can be achieved with integrated vision technology. We have created the sensing unit. It detects patches and provides you with an automated measurement. Measuring distorted charts is no longer a problem because of this intelligent solution based on our vision technology. Thanks to Barbieri technology, precise color measurements make you a top performer. So in this clip, we have seen how this vision technology actually works and how important it is to capture the right measurement spot. The electrostatic textile sample holder. 
here comes an electrostatic textile sample holder with respect to LFPQV textile edition. This sample holder allows easy mounting of printed textiles. Let's look at this clip to show how this technology works. Do you need precise color measurements on digitally printed textile materials? Fixing textile samples on a sample holder can often be very challenging and difficult to implement. Our R&D department has the experience needed to analyze the difficulties and find the ideal solution. Color measurements need to be made on a standardized white backing material. We use the electrostatic charging to pull the desired material on a white surface and, additionally, installed a frame to fix the sample. The Spectro LFP QB Textile Sample Holder. Textile materials get pulled on a standardized white surface by electrostatic charge and are additionally fixed with a frame. This provides a stable measurement position and guarantees precise data outcome. Thanks to Barbieri technology, precise color measurements make you a top performer. So in this clip, we have seen how the electrostatic textile sample holder works and also how important it is that a material stays as fixed as possible during a measurement. And last but not least, the air blowing system, which is a built-in solution to avoid dust on optics and actually keep the device clean. Let's have a look at this technology. Do you need precise color measurements on digitally printed textile materials? Fibers and optics can very often cause imprecise measurements. Our specialized R&D department has many years of experience in the field and has thoroughly analyzed the problems with measurement inaccuracy caused by fibers and dust. Our team was able to solve the difficulties with a high quality solution. We have created an integrated solution that avoids contamination, the air blowing system. Dust on the measuring aperture gets blown out of the optics. This guarantees a highly accurate data outcome every day. Thanks to Barbieri technology, precise color measurements make you a top performer. Intelligent measuring technology, when color quality counts, Barbieri. So we have seen how the air blowing system works and how it helps to keep the device clean. We've seen the features of the Spectral FPQV textile edition, which help overall to all these challenges in digital textile printing. Now let's come to the summary about color in digital textile printing. We have seen that color varies on different or can vary on different digital textile printers. Spectrophotometer is a key component to obtain the color gamut. A dedicated textile color measurement device guarantees accuracy. Automation prevents human mistakes. And a continuous verification of color reproduction is very important. So now I'm coming to the end of this uh, presentation. I'm looking forward to all of your questions now. In the next slide, I will share all my contact details. Feel free to reach out uh, anytime. Uh, feel free to visit our website, www.barbiereelectronic.com. And of course, now uh, I'm happy to answer all of your questions. And I'm handing back to Lucy to explain one more time how to ask your questions.